paperwork. Yep. Sucks. I no. How are you taking from that spill? <sighs> it's getting better. Whoa! You stay down. I'll go check what's happening. What the hell's wrong with you? Oh, oh, sorry, probably a ricochet. Alright, well, come up here and we'll talk about what you just did. Get in your bed, you need your rest. Okay. Um... Not you. Alright, well... So, did you have a contract on that boy that you just shot, or were you fighting him? Oh, we were just, we was just fighting, uh, he had a, he has a contract for us, uh, we gotta kill, uh, uh one of them, in, we gotta kill an Indian, um, uh, surprisingly, uh, someone from the U.S. Army, and, uh, uh, I think maybe one or two, uh, marshals, something like that. Alright, any girls, cause remember my policy, I don't kill women or children. No, it doesn't say anything about that in the contract. Um, Alright, well, I think we can find out about this, but we have to pull off a couple first contracts here in Thieves Landing. Because, where is this contract due? Um, any day, as long as before they die. Alright, well, where is it? Like, where do we well, have to go for it? Well, up Armadillo, and McFarland's Ranch are the most likely places they'd be at. Sometimes All right. Chiborosa and Escalera. Alright, well, I'll learn more about this contract later. I have to go set up an inventory downstairs so people will think we're actually a, um, tailor shop, even though we are actually bounty hunters. I'll be right back. Hey there. So, heard you had a bounty. Someone. Couldn't you be in bed after that spill off that horse and you broke your back? You like, did you break your back off that fall? I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. All I heard was you crying like a little bitch. Never did that. Yeah, yeah, you did. Nope. I heard you. It's alright. It's alright. It's no, all no, right. nope, nope, I didn't. It wasn't no right. horse spill. We were on our last yep. contract and he got shot in the hip. See? Ow. He got shot in the hip. He wasn't watching where he was looking. He got wow. shot right in the hip. Wait, he that door be jumpy. cold out. It's raining. Well, he opened the door. Yeah. Who did? Oh, the, that guy. Maybe he's here for What you man? If he's on my property, I have the right to kill him. But yeah, that's true. Uh, I don't know what. There is a man actually. out here. What the hell? All right. Well, he's I don't dead. know what. Alright, well get inside, you're gonna catch another cold, maybe disease, I don't know. Shit's going mm -hmm. around. This isn't the cleanest town if you haven't noticed. Yeah, Alright, well the I have a con I have a contract for uh this dude in the saloon and I'm pretty sure someone's on our porch again and all. One sec, let me handle him. These people are getting annoyed. Why All would right, they just well, guys, let's go loud. to the saloon. Let's go to the saloon. But you guys want to see the inventory downstairs? Get off my fucking property. You too. He must have thought it was his tailor shop. Looks like he ain't gonna be going to the tailor no more. All right, guys, come downstairs and check out the tailor shop is. Well, tailor shop. Wink, wink. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Well, damn, this town's going shit. Yeah, it is. Alright, well, I'm gonna read my contract. It's a bar. Damn, there ain't no service in this place. Alright. Alright, Lewis, Lewis. Yeah. Go upstairs and search it out. Okay, got it. Alright, let's see. Middle age. No upstairs. It says. No, there is. It's just that we can't go up there. Damn. All right. I see the picture. All right. I gotta go take care of my contract. I'll be back. See you in a bit. Right. So, <clears throat> what's your name again? Because he usually hangs out at the brothel. I'm pretty sure I see him. He's up there. Uh, my name is Jesse. Jesse. Uh, what was it? Jesse or James? I don't know. My folks used to call me Jesse or James. I don't know. You can call me either. Or. I'll call you Jesse. 
I mean, no, I'll call I you know James. It sounds like Jesse James. I know the damn bandit. Yep, we all know. I know. All right, I'm back. That was one quick contract. Contract. What was he like? Right next door to us. He was in the brothel. Didn't you hear me? Oh. All right. Jesse for you. Oh. One second. Um. Well, all right, I scared him away. I can tell. I hear his scream mm -hmm. of terror. You. <laughs> all right. So, guys, tell me more about that contract, James. Well, so they're up in Conchonet, Armadillo, or McFarland. Sometimes Chuparosa or Esclera. We got a we got a uh, Indian. Uh, What's we got his name? What are the names? Do you know the names? Well, one we know the Shadow Wolf. We don't know the the we know the two marshals. Um, <clears throat> which the names are um, Joseph Trent and and uh, what was the uh, other one's name? It uh, was Marshall Scott. Yeah, Marsh Scott. Yeah, Marsh. Yeah, like Scott or something. And oh. They they have a. Uh, Sar was it Sergeant Kelly? Yeah, I think it was Sergeant Kelly. And then they got a, they got a new one up there. It's a female. I, I don't know. Just, they might be. I don't know. It's a rumor. All right. Well, uh, the name Shadow will bring back some memories. Uh, you you know how I don't. I only have one eye. Well, no shit. I well, face. hopefully that's well. <laughs> well, I um, lost my eye from this shadow wolf guy. If it is him, stupid Indians and their names might well, be a couple of them out Mohawk there. Mohawk and the two yeah, that's eagle him. He got feathers in his hair. And his name's yeah, Shadow Wolf. Him. Yeah. Well, he uh, shot an arrow right into my eye the one day when I was pursuing him. He had a contract before this one after him because he massacred a little town that was, um, well, you know Worthington's Ranch next to Mascalero, his town? Oh, yeah. Yep. It's run by they Mains, were now, a family, it? the Worthington's family were moving into there, and he went and massacred the whole place because they moved yeah. down to his land. And the only survivor was the father of Worthington, and he came up to me and asked, well, he gave me a contract to go and kill him. Of course, I lost an eye, and, well, he only went home with a couple of bruises, but he sent me the other way. Wow. One tough Indian. It's going to be hard bounty. Yeah. Uh, we'll get the little song, bitch. I hear we have only gains. one left of the Blackfoot tribe. Did, did, what did you just, why did you just say guns like that? I don't know. I felt like it. I think we gave him too much of those antibiotics. I might have Woo! to hit him a few times to get him back. No. Nope. What the hell? What? Where did he come from? I don't know. This town's crazy Fuck. full of people. What the um. Why? Why are we here Crap. again? I think we're under attack. Why? Why? Why don't we move, please? Here, wait, wait, move. wait. Let me knock you back into order, son. Come here. Ow! Ow! Okay, 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 right, okay. Good. That's good. Don't be saying what I hit. That. That's Hibernate. not a door. I'll check the back. What the hell? <laughs> Alright. You know, let's get back to our office before we start a fucking war. Yeah, there's some screams. We should run. Some sleep. I need to do some paperwork and then I'm hitting the hay. Yeah, I did. <sighs> All right, guys. With this new contract with Shadow Wolf and his friends, I think we should go to every area and save Coxine for last. Cause I have a feeling they're up there. But uh, just in case, I think we should go to Chuparosa, Armadillo, McFarland's Ranch, and whatever other places they've been to that they might be at. What were those places again? The ones that I just named? They were Armadillo, Chuparosa, and McFarland's Ranch. Am I correct? You are 
Uh, 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 we also have Escalera. Oh yeah. That's All right true. then. We'll we'll start with we'll start from top to bottom. We're not gonna go to Kakshina yet because let's save time. All right. Let's go check out every area. We'll go talk to any people if they've seen them there, and if they if they're lying, we'll kill them, or we'll torture them to death. You know how we're gonna do that? Fire. Oh. Fire. And knives. All right. Well, boys, I think we should start going now. The weather is starting to settle up. It's starting to be a sun shower. The sun is out, and the, the um. The rain's gonna be over soon, so call your horses in, boys. We'll head for... Let's check my map here. We'll head for McFarland's Ranch first, alright? Get it. Alright, guys. Let's be together in this one. Here. Let's just wait up. Alright. Starting to move. Let's go. Uh, double time over there. All right, boys, we need to get to McFarland's Ranch. Imagine that bridge falling down while you're on it. Fuck that the storm. would not be good. No, it would not. No, it would not. Are you, like an echo now? Are, you, are you like an echo now, or? You know, we don't really need you on this team, Lewis. I could just shoot you right now. What? Heard me. Alright, boys. Um, there. It's okay. Alright, I'll check the sheriff's it's office. Okay. You guys go check the gun it's shop okay. or the blacksmith. At least you. I'm gonna check general store. I'll All right. check blacksmith. Seems as if nobody's here. No oh, one's they... here. Like those dogs. Don't hurt Shut anybody up. until I say. Hey, Lewis, get in here, sir. Yeah. Do you know? Wait, stop, sir. Do you know anybody? The, anybody by the name of Shadow Wolf? <laughs> sir, be real nice if you could talk to us. All right, well. Let's not like we have to torture. Him. Oh. You gonna tell us now? He's heard enough. He's heard enough. Look at him. He's just stuck in a corner. Blast. Alright, I'm done. Alright, boys. Tear apart the town. Woo! Look in every building. Kill everybody. We're gonna right, kill go everyone until we get this as we need. Battle Wolf, you in here? Got fighting with you. Remember, remember no five years ago? I looked in My there. eye. All right, I'll check this building right here. I'll come Jesus. with. It used to be a teacher yeah. now. Maybe that's where they taught him English. Who knows? <laughs> this land stream looks like it's been shot. Do it happen. Wait, oh, wait God. a second. Hey. Lewis, how would you know if he knew English, Lewis? What? How oh would my you God. Know if he knew English. Because how the hell do you think he told him his story? Lewis, you better not How? betray on us. I'm not betraying you. you. Man, we gotta have a relationship, trusting relationship here. Not a gay one, just a trusting one. Make everything sound gay, Lewis. Shut up. Huh. Oh, no. Guys, take, get me to cover. Come on. Come on, James, get him. Hide out in the marsh's office. Let's this clears up. Come on in. James, come on. Nope, James, you're gonna get nope. hurt too. Okay. Okay. Hey, is there anybody in that sheriff's office? James. Got it. Your name James? Your name James? Okay. That's all. Okay. But, but, yeah, so, right. there is no one. All right, uh, someone's in the barn. I'm gonna go question him. You gotta, gotta stay gotta out here. We got a safe in here, though. All right, crack it. We might be able to get some supplies. 
Bro, oh, I see. Go. There's a man. Go with Ace. Oh. You might need some help. I got this. Where the fuck is he? Oh, I don't need your help. I got the safe. Alright, well, I just got some valuable information off this kind young man here. Thank you, sir. Alright, boys. Turns out they've left already, and they went to Mescalero. Let's go check up there. It's gonna be easier looking up there than down here because that place is almost deserted and there's no building. We're going to Escalera. No, Nescalera. Mescalera, you know. The town, Indians, Blackfoot tribe. Oh, yeah. I'll meet you boys up there. Hey. Maybe. Bro, I'm just gonna round up some stragglers back here. Got it. Alright, boys. Looks like nobody's here, but we might be able to find some supplies or clues. Alright? I'm gonna right. You guys search the teepees for maybe tomahawks, bone arrows, I don't know search for anything, even medicine. Well, someone was injured over here. Some blood. Maybe they're scalping someone over here. Nah. He's not, he wasn't like this anymore since he came in contact with these new white, well, well, our friends, the white people. He's not probably like that anymore. Oh, no way. Found some tomahawks. Guys cool. found palm tomahawks over here. Yeah. That's good. This will help us on our hunt. Or uh, we got a fresh horse sprint the man from our horses. Alright. Well, I'm gonna go look up at this little campfire up here. Come check with the right, I got the, her the hearth is pretty fresh. Yeah, it's fire. We just missed them. Yeah, yeah it looks like some footprints ago, around but, here. But these footprints are a couple weeks old. If they are up in Cochinay, this was maybe a couple days ago, maybe like four, maybe two, I don't know. Yep. But, but there was blood in this, um, like, TP over here, so he must have been fixing someone up or dragging a body that was hurting here. I'm pretty sure this is where they healed dead bodies, or healed bodies. Medicine man, let's follow yeah, here. Where, where the shaman, what Indians call shaman, are the chiefs of the tribes and they heal and say they could bring some dead people back to life but I'm not sure about this Indian stuff all I know is that I did meet a shaman once and he was a nice shaman don't worry and hey, look an owl. Hey, little owl. don't hurt him Ooh. Okay. you who fucking threw it you threw a Popeye he's right there. oh he's alive he's alive Alright, fuck you, Popeye. Come on. <laughs> Why'd you kill him? First, we need food. Yeah, I know, but this fucking owl. That was fucking awesome. You spin their heads around. All that. <laughs> alright, well, alright, well, all I know is that they're, they haven't, they haven't, um, cleaned up their tracks very well here, but, uh, so far we have tomahawks, and I found some herbs over there. So, looks like we're, we'll be well, and I'm pretty sure they might have gone to maybe Armadillo now. You know what, no, let's go to Escalera. They might be there, alright? And Escalera. They, they, they cover ground, right? Well, by the looks of it, they went that way. Through Thieves Landing, because I did see a couple of unfamiliar people crossing through that way? going to Butters Bridge. Yeah, all the way over to a while ago, like two days ago, five, four or five, I don't know. They, I saw a couple of people, four, four men, four men, and one looked like he was an Indian, but I wasn't, I wasn't very interested. I was looking out the window and I saw him crossing through town, looking, going 
forward towards Butters Bridge to cross into Mexico, but I don't know. So let's let's um, try to cross their trails and see where they've been. All right, boys, call your horses. Let's go. Well, let's wait for. Don't shoot the horse. He's just an apprentice still. He's not like. Yeah, I can tell that the fucking beat, the little goatee. Oh. God damn. Gotta go visit the grave fucking yard. Well, I wonder why they went here. Something about them getting some shit out. Uh, find that gravestone. Where is it? It's over here somewhere, I heard. Something about his husband. Or Shadow was fucking her wife or something. I don't know. All I know is we're gonna get some money. Uh, let's see. What does it say? Carmen. Hmm. It's a name. Gotta go tell people. Gotta go tell them that then. Uh, let's see. It seems to be right here. What's the something? Um. Alberto, I guess. 1902 died. I, I don't. Oh, looks like he was lived. Whatever. Oh, gotta go report back to boss. Ha. Uh, let's go, horsey. Come on. Let's go get a bounty. Okay. Alright. Did you get any news from the graveyard that you visited? Duh. His his wife's name was Carmen. His son's name was Alberto or something. And they're both dead? Yep. Alright. Two people that I don't have to kill. Yes. So, um, did you find anything else? Oh, I went up to, t um, what should we call? Uh, did you get the name? Torquemidata or whatever. I'm not sure what it is fucking Indian camp or, or res reservation I don't know for this fucking Indians but whatever they um had Indians up there I saw clues that they were up there there's a couple tomahawks and walls um there's a dead dog dead rattlesnake and um a lot of blood all over the walls but I'm um, it was it looked very old like maybe a decade old so probably wasn't them but there was stuff there from like a day ago. I found some more tomahawks. And so I'm pretty sure wherever tomahawks are, this Indian was. So let's go meet up with James in Chuparos and see if he's found anything at Escalera. Yeah. And then we'll check in Chuparosa for anything. Oh, oh, sorry. My horse, what are you doing? Do not know. You gotta learn. You better not take your master's horse. I would not take it anymore. Let's go. Wait. All right, we can leave. Wait, 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 wait. We forgot to talk to Carlos. My friend told me he was talking to an Indian and sheriff the other day. I have to talk to this Carlos man. All right, you stay outside. He doesn't like that many Americans, and he only likes Americans that he's been friends with over the years. So, all right, James Lewis, stay out here. You go talk to the bartender. Well, just a couple of. Couple dozens of uh, no, US, uh, Mexico. Oh, no, wait, US, what the fuck? Uh, still too much tequila. Um, a lot of Mexican soldiers. They're um, they're all. Uh, all they're right. Well, the, the bartender in there didn't have any valuable uh clues. All he said was. A uh, couple people came in here, drank a little bit of tequila, and left the next hour. So they were only here for an hour. 
And he said that um, the one that looked like a sheriff walked to the telegram station to check if he had any mail. So I'm going to go check over there. Did you find any clues in Escalera? Just dead Mexican soldiers. Anything else? Like feathers, maybe tomahawks? Well, we got a feather from a little Indian. Uh, the Father Gonzalez, um, he reported an Indian stealing his Bible. How many of those he seems to not know? Might have converted to Christianity. Alright, well, you guys look around for any clues if they were climbing on rooftops or anything like that. Look around for dead bodies. I don't know. They might have hid them. I gotta go talk to the telegram. Alright boys, I was in the telegraph station and they actually have, I looked in the recent telegraphs that came in, and a sheriff from McFarland Ranch named Sheriff uh, Scott, something like that, uh, he got uh, a message Marshall. from his wife. Yeah, Marshall Scott. Yeah. Well, that was it, Marshall Scott, yeah. He got a message from his wife that she needed help growing crops on the farm. So. He, um, had to go help her out, I guess, that's what the telegrapher said. But, um, looks like they were here. He said they just moved on, and he said he didn't know where they were going for, but all he knows is that, that Marshall Scott is with his wife, and I asked where that was. He asked why, and I couldn't tell him that, and he said, well, I'm gonna have to tell the Mexican Army, and they're actually, um... I had to put him out of his misery. So... I don't think he was sad, though. I know. His misery of being a coward calling the police, that's what I mean. Well, whatever. He's gone now, and, well, we have to go and find out where Marshal Scott lives so we can take him off the list first. Alright? Yeah. Let's All right. go. Well, let's... The, the telegrapher said that he saw the three others other than, other than Marshall Scott up on this rooftop here. So let's go check it out. Alright. Let's see. There's a blood stain right here. Um, the the shingles. The shingles. Off. There's muddy, muddy footprints. Yeah. Looks like they climbed up from down there. Oh, Alright, well. Some, I see some casing. bullets. There. Bullet holes look like they might have been fighting somebody. All right, Maybe. wait. I think they went down here. Oh crap! I think they jumped this rooftop over here. They might have. Oh, yeah. Then they came over to here. Print. Thought of, uh, yeah, yeah, I see a couple footprints this, over there's here. There's like a there's like a head print on the bell. Hey, look, another feather feather on the bell. Weird. Ah. And I'm pretty sure there's a body print down there. I'm pretty sure one of them fell. All right, well, let's let's move on, boys. Let's keep going. All your horses. Let's go find them. Who gives a shit? Alright boys, we got a long road ahead of us. 